Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the UGC League Sorry, Western please. Invitational. Tonight's matchup is a best of two match between Envy.us and High Self Esteem. You are flying high in the Dota 2 Killcopter, hosted by me, Brushfire. I'm always joined by my co caster extraordinaire, Jujkin Joe Star, our Ten analyst extraordinaire, Techno Man, and the guy who is hoisted up by a flock of ducks today, Brilliant. giving us our stats, Mr. Bad Guy. Gentlemen, how are you doing this evening? I, I will never understand how you sort of wield that sort of duck sorcery, but it is quite impressive. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta remember, ducks can be bargained Ten with. You just have to know to how to think like a duck. First ban phase is going on Five, down the pipe seven. right now. We've already seen a brewmaster get banned out by high self-esteem. A typical first ban, uh, first round ban anyway, uh, nice from ban. any pretty much any team that's in the professional scene right now. Uh, Terror Blade getting banned out by Envy.us. And I'd like to remind everyone that this is a $2,000 grand prize tournament at the end of the season. Tom, some team is going to go home with a lot of stakes thanks to our sponsor, Razor. Make sure you check out Razor. Check out uh, what I recommend, the Black nice. Widow Stealth Edition. Fantastic keyboard. One of the best keyboards I have ever owned. First ban phase is now complete with Viper being banned out by High Self Esteem and Death Prophet finding their way on the band hammer uh, from Envy.us. Centaur, War Runner, your first pickup for the HSE crew. Logs, talk to me. Talk some strats. What do we got going on here? Well, what we got going on here so far is they've just got their... um you know, a basic initiator offlaner. So their lineup is very open right now. Ten seconds. Um it's Five it's still anybody's seconds. uh anybody's draft right now. Um I'd well, like yes, to we see haven't even gotten a, into uh, we haven't even gotten anybody completely uh off their rocker as far as picks yet. We just have our initiate. Please. Blink stop has been a classic in Dota Please. since he made his way into Captain's Mast Captain's uh mode. Cap quite Captain's Mass. It's a new game mode uh, where you play entirely on a ship. Uh, Kanka is very happy about that mode. Razor being picked up by Envy.us. Now, uh, is this Razor going to be a mid Razor, or are we going to be seeing uh, maybe like an off laner right here? I suspect this will be the mid Razor. It, there's still a chance it's uh, going to be safe lane carry Razor, but we don't see that that much these days. We're going to see a Jakiro pickup from Envy.us. Now, uh, got to wonder what Envy.us is doing. Usually, uh, teams will not show what their mid is going to be, and uh, here we are seeing him on his first pick. Now, back in the day, you would you would throw up the Invoker, but that since has fallen out of favor as far as picking your middle first. Well, they do. most of the time you will see a, a core hero picked up first. Um, not always the mid, but Razor is such a good pick that it's really hard to pass up if it gets through. Understood, understood. Ogre Magi being picked up by the HSE crew. Hmm. They say two heads are better Actually, than one, and uh, when your head is the size of two normal heads and you got two of them, well, hey, why not? Five seconds. He's still yeah. an ogre, though. I, uh, I'm looking for carry ogre for time. just the sake of hilarity. Because well, while I doubt it's going to be a carry ogre, it may be a core position ogre. They might put it mid. I have been seeing that a little bit. Yeah, HSE, I, I think that would be amazing. HSE banning out Tidehunter for the year third ban. I think that's a pretty solid ban because Radiant still needs their um, Radiant still needs their offlaner, and Tidehunter just pairs up well with any team. Mm -hmm. And if you're not going to take it, you should probably ban it out. Five seconds. Mm. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of Enigma play lately. What do you think the odds are we'll see an Enigma uh, pick up in either of these games? I think it's actually. I think it might be quite reasonable for this game. Uh, either team could really take it. Uh, it'd be better on um, high self-esteem right now. I think because they already have a pretty solid support that they could have in their um, their safe lane to keep their carry safe. Whereas Jakiro, he's he's a good lane support, but. Um, he can't bad. gank well, like uh, Ogre can. Yes, indeedy. Well, banning out Vengeful Spirit on Envy.us. Tragic. Now, I'm actually a little surprised that uh, Faces Ten Void has made it this far into the draft without getting picked or banned. You know, typically Five Faces has been a uh, first-round ban or pick. So maybe he's just falling off these days. 
Reserved maybe time. so. Maybe so. Uh, there was a very hilarious video that made its way onto Reddit a while back, uh, where a faceless void threw a chronosphere onto a phantom assassin. That phantom assassin had the RNG Jesus on her side. Ended up blurring every single swing from that faceless void. It was hilarious. Ancient apparition being banned out by HSE. Yeah, maybe anticipating the faceless void and just saying, you know, we'll let that through. We'll let it through. We'll just take out all your combo power. Yeah, and if Ogre McGee, if he manages Ten, to stay outside seven, of the chrono, uh, he's definitely a humongous counter to faceless. Five. Second. Especially if he multicast is stun. Well, with the buffs to multicast being a forty percent chance to two times at level one, Boy. it's it's pretty likely that you're gonna multicast. Yeah. I expect to hear plenty of blurns out of Ogre McGee later in this game. Fourth band still being decided on by Envy.us. One minute left in the reserve tank. Did you just say blurns? I did say blurns. blurns. Multiball, multicast, blurn. Oh, and there's the Enigma Maybe ban out by Envy.us. What a tragedy right there. I would have loved to have seen him in this game. I think that's a pretty smart ban. It is a smart yeah, ban. You're absolutely right about is. that. We're going to see the SS pick up on Envy.us. Let's see what HSE is going to plan for their third uh, attack here. There's their, their ganking support right there. Because Shadow Shaman can easily farm the jungle and also get a lot of good ganks off with his double stun. Mm-hmm. Give him a chicken, yeah. give him a shackle, give him a little Aether Shot, give him a little Serpent Ward, and uh, that's it for them. Not necessarily in that order, but yes. It doesn't have yes. to be. But uh, somewhere in his combo, you want to use both his chicken and his shackle. Five, the other one's yes. kind of optional, depending on how many people are around Shadow Shaman. I don't know, Aether Shock's pretty, pretty hefty summit damage. It is, it is, truly, it is. No, and it does not enough. hurt. No, it does hurt. Well, okay, it doesn't. It does not hurt to use it in a fight. No, but it does hurt. But it, <laughs> but it doesn't hurt to use it. No, no, it hurts when you use it. It but does logs, like who's a lot on of first? Skywrath, Skywrath Mage is on first. Ah, but uh, who's Skywrath Mage? First, Ogre McGee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This doesn't work so well in Dota. It does yeah. not, indeed. Well, you got to try things new. you got to try a little joke meta here and there. Uh, we're going to have a Skywrath Mage pick up for the third pick on HSE. Skywrath Mage, very solid pick right there. Being able to silence, being able to get that Mystic Flare off later in the game. Very high damage right there. And that's what he Ten is looking for. To go. This draft is... Five. It's really hard for me to even predict. Like, I feel like there should be a timber saw in here somewhere, but like for the life of me, I can't tell you where it would be. I, it'd have to be on like an envy, but it would have to be on envy. And honestly, right now, it's not that great a pick. Well, yeah, let me do ask you, you think there'll be carry razor, or do you see a sort of late game carry that maybe to shore things up here in the last two? I, I, I see a late game carry right now. Uh, the mid range just still makes the most sense to me. Yeah, now, you think like a specter or mm. logs? Let me let me let me put something by, by you real quick. What Nyx assassin? I oh. like him for either side, honestly. Nyx assassin I, works good for. Okay, well, I don't think we're going to see next success in this game. Um, Negative. <laughs> a sad face Goodbye, clockwork. Goodbye, chance up. of Nick's assassin. Envy US picks up clockwork as their penultimate pick. High self esteem's turn to pick their fourth man. Now, uh, a Envy is currently hurting for reserve time. Only 11 seconds left in the tank to make their last ban, last pick. Whereas HSE well, that's, has that's plenty of That's not really so bad. It's not. Unless HSE Ten picks something really ago. off the wall right now. And Medusa. Five do it. Do it. Do it. Do that it. Do it. Would mm, that would not be Reserve a time. not be a bad pick actually. It it just does quite well against Razor because um the mana shield reduces the damage before um before it checks your armor. Mm. Right. I, I worry about her, though, with Clockwork, because Snake Booty is not fast. No, it, she is not Faceless Void. Penultimate pick up on HSE. What do we think about that, gentlemen? That doesn't surprise me at all. 
It does not no, work. They, they had the Skyrath Sky pick. Uh, Faces Void was kind of inevitable pick here, as I said earlier. I guess he's just not, Ten you know, as early a pick go. these days anymore, because he can be countered kind of easily if you Five pick up the Skyrath or yeah. the Tide Hunter or something. Final Silence ban going or, to Invoker. Silencer, yeah. I, I would not be surprised to see a ban on Silencer, actually. Well, Dyer has, or excuse me, uh, High Self Esteem has their chance to do that right here and now. Let's see what they do. They got the yep. ban on the Silencer as foretold <laughs> by the Jujkin Scrolls. Very well played, sir. Very well indeed. NV.US final pick right now. I'm gonna hazard a guess and say Legion Commander would actually be pretty good here. Hmm. Mm. I do like Legion Commander in this. Uh, you know, I what? hope it's no, Legion it's little, it's and not Spectre. Um, it's a little risky go. with the Skywrath Mage. Five, I uh, like Spectre's playstyle, but she's too weak right now. I don't like Spectre right here. Yeah. Ten Spectre has a rough time against uh, Centaur Warrunner. And oh, a safe boy. pick indeed, Dyer's with MV.US picking up the Marana as their final pick. HSE's turn to make their final choice. And that will be their ultimate response. Huh. They might be moving the Marana mid and having the Razor go bot then. I think that would work best for them. Think defensive try with Jakiro Shadow Shaman? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to place where Ten who the carry is in this. I I feel like it's Razor with Murana mid. I Five think that would work best. Seconds. But it, it does come down to what um high self steam picks for their mid. I kind of feel like Murana's gonna play time. the carry here. She farms really well. And Razor doesn't? Well, Razor does, but he falls off whereas mm -mm. Well Murana falls off too, but I think she falls off after Razor does. As I, far as I six slot, it's concerned. Uh, Fish Void is definitely the hardest carry in this game right now. Right, definitely is. I would like to see a puck. Wind Ranger at your service. And instead, you will get a ginger. Wind Ranger is on the case, and that's going to round out your selection for both of these drafts. Envy.us versus High Self Esteem will be starting here in just a moment. Let's go down to the Dota Fields of Battle and see what these two teams have in store for us right now. So, over on the Radiant side, you're going to have yourself the Envy.us. First up is going to be Ace, who's going to be playing your Razor Ice 9, your Clockwork Zerb. Z is going to be your Jakiro. Professor Oak, who uh, is uh, the granddad of Gary Oak, very high-profile person right there. Uh, going to be playing your Shadow Shaman, and finally to round out, it's going to be G Bips, who is going to be playing your Marana. Who do we have on the Dire side, Logals? Over on the Dire side, we have Pandemics on the Ogre Magi, Heart Monster on the Faces Void. Oh, that's quite a name to read. I'm going to just call you uh, Godzilla because I can't quite see your whole name. It's uh, God's Hand 007. God oh, <laughs> of course. God's Hand 007 on the Wind Ranger, Hotaru's on the Skywrath Mage, and Hoth on the Centaur War Runner. Now, I thought last time we had the, uh, <laughs> last time we had, uh, <laughs> a, we had this team casting, we decided that Hotaru's was what his name was going to be. Hotaru. Hotaru's. I, I feel like that's Hotaru's. Hey, it can, it, also, it can go either way. You know, uh, I, I watch too many Japanese animus. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, you're currently watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, if I'm not mistaken. It begins. I would if it was still airing new episodes. Ah, uh, tragic. They on hiatus? Yeah, uh, until next year. Ah, uh, tragic indeed. We're going to have a invisible Hoff going at you. Ice planet too cold here. Uh, Professor Oak and Ace are both going to get out of the dodge area. And it uh, looks like Hoff is not going to be able to chase any of them down because he's just too slow as a level one centaur war runner more importantly he's a no boots centaur war runner well generally you don't want to get boots uh first as centaur you want to get the stout shield so that people can't right click you at all mm -hmm. and he got and that stout take... shield he got that stout shield he's got his uh ring of protection which gives him three extra armor as no. well so he's going to be uh, pretty tanky at level one 
And they oh. see them now. They have the well. That's not really gonna get a lot of use other than that initial uh, vision there, that uh, sentry ward. Indeed, indeed. I think they might have just been trying to uh, deward a possible observer he might have. Cause sometimes you'll put a observer right over here, get yourself a little bit of vision into the woods. And that would be a good choice here. However, this did not happen. But hey, it's better to be safe than sorry. Now, over in mid, you keep seeing Godhands 007 uh, taking lots of pot shots at Gigabit. Uh, Gigabit has been falling back behind tower. He's currently sitting at 195 HP. Both of his tangles on cooldown, so if he wanted to heal, he would have to pop his salve. The tangles will come off cooldown here in just a quick second. He needs to be really careful, because there's a power shot here, and it will miss by a wide, wide margin. But that's okay. That is okay. That was like first blood potential, too. That that kind of sucks. It, it so, wouldn't have been enough to take her out. It would have done 200 damage, and it would have just barely been... Uh, yeah, it would have just left her alive, just yeah. by a little bit. Like one three follow up health. auto though, if she was able to get it, she did pop her wind run to try to go after uh, Gigabit, but Gigabit was already too far. Well, there goes the power shot once again, hitting that Gigabit. 266 health. There goes the wind run. I believe she went for Rune. Oh, Jakiro's going to deny it. Very well done. But then he is going to see himself getting hit by the Ogre Maji. Uh, Professor Oak is going to break up that fight, though, and Godhands is going to narrowly def uh, sidestep Ooh. an arrow. Very well done by that Godhands. Yes, exactly. Just uh, two a couple inches closer would have been super stun time for Godhands 007 right there. Yeah, the big difference here is that Wind Ranger wanted that region a whole lot. Um, it it would have been before the bottle charge. She would have had full mana and three bottle charges. And now she's she's not going to have nearly the amount of mana and harass potential that she wants. I hate it when she doesn't have a mana and harass potential either. Did you <laughs> just say mana in her ass? I did, because that's what I heard Technoman say. I'll try and add more spaces into my speech. Over add in more top syllables. lane, Professor Oak is trying to get himself a little bit of damage on Skyrath Mage, and you saw what he did there. He had a one auto attack that... Oh, Popped that clarity. No mana for you, Hotteroos. Yeah, that, that's pretty big too, because Hotteroos, he needs to be spamming Arcane Bolt, otherwise he is practically a big ranged creep. <laughs> a, a big winged one. A big winged ranged creep that's worth like oh. 200 gold a kill. Altercation happening down on bottom lane. Ace was able to drain 98 damage from Centaur Warrunner. That is devastating right there. So much damage right there. Oh, and he's just going to swing at Hoff twice and knock off about a quarter of his HP. Yeah, we've got an aggressive try push coming in up top as well. Maybe a trial for first blood here from Radiant. Possibly. Ogre Magi will get himself an invisibility room. Pandemus is going to send one up top, two up top, and then travel behind the group. Lucky find. You mean illusion, right? I said illusion. I heard invisibility. Juice I good? heard nothing. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> tiebreaker goes to me then, and I said it right. Awesome. Reminding anybody who's watching this stream currently in the uh, Dota client, if you go to twitch.tv and you want to talk with us via the Twitch... I got a second monitor recently, so now I can totally see that without having to look down at my phone. I'm not poor anymore, guys. No, uh, Professor Oak so getting a swing out of Monster. Oh, Monster's going to look into a bad spot here. Uh, Professor Oak will get out of there. Nope, nope. Jakira will throw a uh, fiery shot attacked. at him. And, uh, fiery uh, shot? Fire about shot? liquid fire? Was it liquid, liquid fire? Uh, liquid, liquid, liquid fire. fire. Hits him with liquid fire. Liquid plumber. Love it. Liquid plumber, foaming pipe snake. <sighs> 2 OP against Morphling. Once again, down on bottom lane, Ace continues to drain Missy damage, only getting 21 down. HP that, or 21 damage that time around. Well, the damage is good for helping him last hit and making sure Centaur stays back, but it it won't stop the fact that the double edge combo is still really strong. Mm -hmm. And yeah, but he can pretty much damage. effectively zone um Centaur out. It's true. If Centaur were to actually um hit him with a 
the double edge, he would actually slow himself so much that he wouldn't get much of a chance to auto attack him afterwards. Can he pop ult after that? Uh, it's also an attack speed slow. Ah. And a lot of uh, Centaur's damage actually comes from those right clicks he oh, gets in. Slow on Professor Oath. The time walk comes out from Monster. The Jakiro Ice Path comes out. They're going to pick up fir first blood on Professor Oak with uh, Monster being able to walk out of there happy, safe, and sound. They're, uh, that's going to really bolster their forces right here, being able to get that all important first blood on their carry. Ooh. Centaur came in to try and get a gank off, but they um they got the Murana alt off just as he was running in with the haste rune. The the better play there was Murana used her leap to grab the bounty rune before Windrunner could get there. And that's gonna so, deny a bottle charge right there too. Yeah, she's she's pretty much had to bottle crow this entire game. And if we're going by pure stats here, Oh, Marana oh, has the bad much news better. for Zerb. Zerb's is going to get time locked and stomped out. Faceless Boy picking up a second kill, making the game two to none in favor of high self esteem. Don't you just hate those first hit bashes? Oh, they're gross. So gross. Faceless Void's going for the Mask of Madness build. Oh, uh, it's, it's pretty, pretty much the normal build. It is, but I've seen other people who were rushing like a Maelstrom. Yeah. Uh, it the the difference being that that damage vulnerability you add to yourself while it's active. Well, that's why you only ever activate it when you're in Chronosphere. Because then you right. become stupidly powerful. I mean, plus plus a hundred attack speed. It's nothing to scoff at. Not at all. Definitely oh. not. Arcane Shad comes out from Hataru's, then, oh, Stan Monster gets stuck inside that, but he's still gonna kill Professor Oak and he hit by two cogs. Arrow goes out, will hit a creep instead, and Monster will be able to fight another day. He got another first hit bash. Ridiculous. RNG Jesus is on Faceless Void side tonight here at the Dota 2 Killcopter. Big rotation going on. Everybody smoked. He's falling back on top lane. I wonder what this is about. This is going to be a pretty big rune for um, Wind Ranger. Oh, definitely. She definitely. she actually gets another level before uh, the Dyer's double damage is gone. She can just throw insane damage on somebody. She's actually going to get a second bottle refill too, which is absolutely <coughs> gross right here. What fortune has found Wind Ranger today? Good fortune. Good fortune indeed. And she's hunting. Professor Oak is in danger. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Professor Oak popping the tango right there. Gets I shot with the shackle. Bad hits onto a, a jungle creep, and that's going to be the end of that Shadow Shaman. Moonlight Shadow is going to come out from Marana, and Zerbs is going to end up trying to hide for his life. Jakiro hiding back behind tower. That was just unfortunate timing. Five to zero right now at the nine minute mark. HSE cleaning house. Yeah, that that was a great play, and Centaur practically soloed the Razor there. He's like, I don't care if you're draining my damage. Double edge. Double oh, edge. Jakiro's in a bad spot now. The birdie blast, the arcane shot, and then God Hands is just gonna finish up Jakiro. That's six to seven to nothing as Faceless Void gets a kill up on top lane. That was oh, a solo kill too. Blew the Chronosphere for it. Wind Ranger has the ability to use Radiant her. Uh, she does not have fortified. focus fire yet, so she Radiant will not be using that yet. But they are going to pop attack. the uh, the, the uh, fortification attacked. glyph on the tower. 510 Radiant's HP remaining on that tower. It's probably going to go here if they decide to tank the tower. Faceless Void, I think, is going hand to Midas Radiant's here too. He's already got the um. The glove of haste. Top tower is under I kind of doubt it. I think that's just uh, Maelstrom. Dyer Maelstrom. Dire fortification coming out uh, for the mid attacked. lane pressure that was coming out from Professor Oak off of uh, NVUS. Dyer's top tower is being attacked. 
And it looks like Razor will pick himself up a tower on top lane, so it's going to be a one-for-one -one tower exchange. Ace getting the final hit on there. Very well done. However, I still think that HSC has a distinct advantage due to the seven kills, seven unanswered kills at that. Eight unanswered kills now as uh, Skyrath Mage Hataru's picks himself up a kill right there. I think that's everybody now on the uh, HSC team has a kill, I think, except for Ogre Majai. Yeah, but he's got four assists now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's not hurting for money either. Everyone on HSC is just sitting pretty right now with a little bit of gold in their pocket. Let's talk Arana about Monster. is the only person without a death on Radiant. And that's going to help her out. However, Razor is still holding strong with his farm of 53, Dyer's 28 denies. Oh, God Hands begins to drain. Wind Ranger, that's going to be terrible for her. Those Plasma Field comes out. The Whoa! Ice Path could have been way bad, but uh, thankfully God Hands had a little bit of foresight on that one. Yeah, God Hands, I don't like his angling for these Shackle Shots. I think he could have he could have had some better angling going on here. I don't like um, those Shackle Shots either, but you got to hand it to God Hands. That was a sweet power shot. Nabbed uh, uh, Jakiro and Faceless Void, or not Faceless Void, uh, Jakiro. Jakiro and Razor right there. Yeah. Also, Clockwork being really cheeky, hiding back here in the uh, the dire jungle. The tricky right. tree. Gotta love it. There goes the hook shot. Gets Hotaru stuck in there. This could be the first kill. Very desperately needed on Envy. Yeah, he's gonna get picked up right there. Marana picking up that kill. So finally putting a kill on the board at the 12 minute mark. Thanks to a sweet hook shot from Ice Nine. It Sending Skyrath to see his Skyrath love in the afterworld. Or in the band pool. Yep, in the band pool. Radiance bottom tower. Now, Chronosphere is up. They're going for it. Oh, the double! He got the double. Ace is stuck in there. They're going to be the ice path. He's going to set... Oh, he's going to be able to stampede Radiance out of there. Gets hit by the liquid fire. And that's going to be the disengagement. There's not going to be any kills taken out of there. The flare comes off. Hotaru's is going to be able to dodge that arrow. Uh, and so is God Hands. Wow. Both being able to sidestep and keep themselves alive. Almost flubbed Chronosphere. It looked like Faceless wanted to pick up the tower in there too, so he didn't get pounded by it. And then that ended up being uh, bad for him. I think he was just a little, little too slow because they were all stacked right in mid, and they spread out sort of in a line, so kind of like here. He he couldn't catch the ones that. Bye, he really Professor needed. Oak. Oh, 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 beautiful. God Hands getting a huge power shot kill. On Radiant Professor Oak. No studying for you tonight, yeah. sir. Go put your slippers on. Yeah, okay, that. I'll put my slippers on. The, the more important thing is Centaur has a respectable 13 minute blink dagger and it just paid Radiant for itself in a free Radiant. kill against Shadow Shaman. Radiant has fortified We're going to get another fortification coming up. As the tier one goes down, God Hands will eat a flare from Radiant's Clockwork, but uh, God Hands really doesn't attack. care. He's going to get the Defense deny off and run. Ogre McGee goes down top to Marana. Uh, she just caught him out in the jungle and pretty much just dumped on him. Well, you make yeah. up 100% of your team's kills right there, Gigabit. Good for you. At yeah. this point, they really need to start making a lot more pickoffs like that if they want to have a chance of catching up. Yeah, Marana is, is looking more and more like their carry, whereas Razor, I mean, he's got his, his carry mechanism. Um, but he's not doing good at, by any stretch. I think if he's lucky, he'll push an Agonims and just sort of transition into a building pushing role. Yeah, but I don't see him getting an Agonims before 30 minutes. Yeah, probably that. not. Not with his farm where it is, unless they take some serious team fight. That is a and long time away. Thir or 15 minutes from now. Let's see if he's got it by then. Honestly, Radiant is really lacking in the team fight side. They've got a lot of decent gank potential from the uh, Rasta and from the Clockwork, but or Marana Arrow, but they don't really have a great team initiation like the Void. Oh, fight cuts! Trying to break out over here in mid lane. Ace is going to hit a huge power shot. If we get hit by the Shackle, he'll get hit by the uh, Birdie Blast. Get slowed down, but uh, not much else is going to come from that middle engagement. Concussive shot. Ah, oh, yes. Concussive shot. It's, it's the slow. What's wrong with the birdie blast? 
Birdie Blast is the other one. Yeah, uh, I was about to say, you can't call Birdie Blast on both of them. Only so, one of them actually has birds in it. Yeah, the Arcane Bolt is is the Birdie Blast, if you want to be so uh, too crude. True, too true. Alright, Monster is gonna go just wail on that tower in mid lane, popping his Mask of Madness. The Chronosphere is ready, Ace going in, he gets the Chronosphere off, the Mystic Flare comes in, boom! Done, Skywrath Mage picking up Razor right there, Ace goes down. Is this part of an Wow, they, they didn't even that. commit Faceless yeah, Void. Uh, this early in the game, all of uh, Faceless's kills are gonna come from him throwing Chronosphere and Rain's other people killing him. Yeah, he, uh, that worked pretty flawlessly. Just let Skywrath do the work and power shot to make sure everything goes off without a hitch. Yeah. Ah, see, I told you it was a Maelstrom. You were correct. One rare. One rare. I don't believe I wagered, wagered anything. One rare. One rare. That, it'll be a rare once he builds it into a Mjolnir. Ha! Joke. Counter joke. No. There's no jokes here. Only sadness. Ah, uh, yes. The old sad boys Dota 2 Killcopter. Brought to you by Razor and UGCLeague.com. Go to UGCLeague.com and check out that website. Post on the forums. Join up in some of our Dota 2 and Team Fortress 2 tournaments. Smoke bottom. Looks like they're going to try and rotate to mid, but if they catch out Jakiro here, that's an easy kill. Centaur leads the way, they put the uh, multicast up on there, there's gonna be a Zerbs is done, power shot, double edge, Centaur picking up a kill, that's gonna be free Oh, clockwork out to follow! Oh, there goes the Mystic Flare, Ice Nine downed by the Barrage! Then God's Hand's in a bad spot here, Razor's gonna go, there goes the Arcane, uh, Concussive Shot, Birdie Blast out, Ace is now stunned down. Oh, here goes the Centaur stop, the power oh. shot, the double edge explodes! Explodes with that triple! Oh my god! There goes the shackle. Oh, Derek Senpai is so screwed at this point. The double multicast right there. The silence. Oh, and then God Hands is going to pick himself up another kill right there. 16 to 2. <laughs> Perk Mans. Oh, and then Faceless will get another kill right there. Oh, dear Faceless. Oh, uh, he's, he's good. He'll just time walk out of there. He'll get hit by the flare, but uh, he's going to survive to live to fight another day. Very smart of him to not use that for the initiation and instead save it to get away from Clockwork. Yeah, and we're going to see a rotation to defend top, but that was our first official team wipe of the game. Mm-hmm. And 17 kills on the two that Envy.us has. HSE is standing very tall right now. Take a look at the gold graph. 10k difference right now. XP almost same thing. Absolutely disgusting. Let's take a look at the net worth now and see who's currently in the lead. It's Wind uh, Ranger. Wind Ranger with 8,500 gold, 8,300 with Faceless Void right behind, and then uh, Centaur uh, War Runner might be called uh, Centaur Bank Runner at this point because he is sitting at the third spot with 6,900 well above Marana who was mid with 58. Yeah, Marana not, she's the only one on her team that's having a strong game and the fact of the matter is she's just not a strong enough carry to carry for other people who are underfed. She yeah. she just can't do it. And, oh, she didn't really have that many items yet. Yeah, she's still Still not on her first big item. Now, yeah. Jenkins. Yo. Do you think that they can do to come out of this one? This sort of uh, spiraling jet into a volcano. Um, a riding. It's not looking great. So let let's talk about that rubber band gold. They have to kill. Well, let's see who's got the they most have to kill. kill everyone. At this point, any of the following targets would be decent trades: uh, Wind Ranger, Centaur, or Faceless Void. Any of those three would give a nice bounty gold. And at this point, they have to try and feed it to Marana. Um, at this point, they're. I think they're doing kind of the wrong thing, which was that they sort of huddled as five in like this section of the map, 
And then they let one person farmed while they protected oh, that person. Oh, Professor O gets singled out by a Hoff. Power shot from the jungle. Godhands gets another kill. Four staff shackle. Ice Knight gets the barrage on him as well. Mystic Flare coming down. Oh, that's another kill right there for Skyrath Mage. Hataru's getting himself a little, uh, little kill. A little kill in this pocket, you know? Yeah. At, at this point, we need Ward Vision. You know they're invading your jungle. Like, they've got a ward here and they just placed a, a high ground ward here I, they need probably a ward I think somewhere mid maybe oh, like no. a high ground Scott, there. Mage is probably going to catch out this Marana here I don't Gigabit. know if he can solo kill him he, can't, he probably can't solo kill but uh, he could definitely do some hurt Marana's got enough for her ultimate I, he'd have to burst her before she could get away in Viz um, at this point, though, look at where Radiant is. They're all right here, not farming. Like, well, one of them's farming. Yeah. One, it's it's like two people protecting one person who's farming. At this point, you need to like smoke gank and try and pick someone off. And that's easier said than done. I realized. Oh, Faceless Void right into the Roche pit right now. And then Hoff goes in right after. They're trying to get themselves a little bit of uh, Radiant has vision, but they do not have any way of knowing that they teleported in on their, their tier one and then blinked slash time walked into here. So yeah, oh, there's no oh. chance they're gonna catch him. Zerbs is is kinda heading this way. Oh Zerbs. He's they know he's there, but they don't want to. They don't want to go kill him because they don't that want would, none of that. that would that would give up the ghost. But this is this is beautiful. They may even know because their ward can probably see ogre here. They might. He's right on the cusp of vision. Uh, no, can't. Okay. Well, in that case, they just got blindsided, and. Look at this awesome warding from Dyer. We've got wards here, counter wards here, counter warding the ancients so that they don't have safety. Like, this is a great way so that you can keep invading and get that surprise initiation off and keep the lead rolling. Yep. And the BKB is now up on the Faceless Void, so he's not going to be able to be pushed out of his Chronosphere anymore. Mm -mm. Better than that, Shadow Shaman is now pretty much entirely useless against him. Like, maybe if they got a lucky sheep off? Pretty much, and he's only got his level 1 wards right now, because he's sitting at level 7. Oh, there goes the Chronosphere, oh, grabs here. Zerbs, Zerbs is so screwed, he goes down, the drain comes out on ice. Or excuse me, Ace is going to try to drain out Monster. Monster is going to break the tether. Ice draining 112 HP from the Faceless Void. Power shot coming out, hits Ace for about a, uh, about an eighth of his health right there. Huge chunk. Radiant Up, Hoff's going down. Oh, man, it is going down. Ace is going to be the one single out there. There is Serpent Wards in the jungle. Monster is going to try to do the damage. He is going to walk past. He is going for the gold. He has got himself an immortality. He's going to come back up, and uh, they're not going to stick around. They don't want to. I don't blame them. They're farming serpent wards over here, too. It's just like, thanks, Shadow Shaman. <laughs> now, I really think that that was more of a way to uh, bait out the ulti from Shadow Shaman than it was to do anything else right there. Because uh, at this point, HSE is up uh, seven times the number of kills that uh, Envy.us has. Yeah, um... I don't mean to be, oh, but... God hands oh, dear. Bad spot. A lucky arrow will end the unstoppable streak for God hands. 566 gold going into the pocket. Then they're going to single out Pandemics. Pandemics is being chased. Ogre Magi gets blown up. Razor getting the last hit on that one. But Wicked Sick, uh, Faceless Void in the jungle, singling out Shadow Shaman yet again. That was a little over a 3,000 gold change. Mm, yeah. And uh, almost... Uh, 5,000 for XP. Yeah, Marana got 1,000 gold because of the the ending 
Wind Rangers killing Bray. Oh, now Faceless Void getting hit inside the cogs. What a hook shot, but it doesn't matter. BKB standing monster. What a monster indeed. He's going to try to go after. Oh, oh, there There's the Karana. Oh, my God. Derek Senpai is so screwed. Gigabit's getting him in there. The Stampede comes out. The Shackle. Shadow Shaman with a well-timed teleport. Then the Ice Path comes out. And Faceless Void bites it, giving 695 gold to Razor. Yep, Razor's done with Agonims now, thanks to that. Like, this is the best they could be doing to get the turnaround here. And it's that they killed those three people who had killing sprees. And that's at least a thousand gold per it, it kill. Was, it was almost two thousand for each kill, really. Yeah. Uh, so, with all the assist gold. I, it's, it's a good start here. Like, we can't give up the fact that there's still a huge tower and kill deficit here. Well, actually, the towers are about even. All tier ones, all tier ones. So yeah, towers are about even. The difference here is carry status. Let's look at the carry potential on Envy. It's not great. It's, it's Razor, who just finished Ags at 26 minutes, so very close to your prediction. And then it's a Marana who just picked up her Desolator and drums. That That's not really no, it's, great. It's desolator. Oh, she sorry, got, uh, not Desolator. Got, uh, Diffusal. Wrong, wrong D weapon. Uh, but let's compare that to Faceless Void. He's over here with his Maelstrom, his BKB. He's working on an Ags, I would assume, from that point booster. That's an Ags, yeah. Yeah, he is... He's Unless definitely crazy new build where you get Scotty on Faces Void. <laughs> oh no, would be silly. It, it's definitely a Bloodstone. This is this definitely oh, right, right. Uh, because you need to have all of the mana so you can just time walk and Chronosphere every time it's up. Every single time. That's not even why you want that item, but. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he is running away, and the, the health regen might be decent for him, but I, at this point, it would be silly. There's tons of better items, like, as you suggested, I as Scotty. No, that wouldn't be better. Uh, casual okay, you, you, know it, you know it's not real because you're smoked in this spell. Come on. Yeah. Up, oh, up. Oh. oh, that is Professor a dead Oak Professor Oak. Oak. Three shotted right there. Probably should have brushed up on his studies a little bit more. Knows that now there are 718 Pokemon and not just... Arrow's going to catch God's hands. Are there 718 now? There I thought it was 600 something. There was 649 in the previous generation. With generation 6 is now 718. Oh, okay. The more you know. <laughs> I'm getting some wonderful team chat. What? That's just a guy with a really long face. Team Arrow Catchers. <laughs> He's right. Yeah, Marana's been... At least I can say this. As much as I dislike the hero Marana is, it's always fun to watch a Marana who can land an arrow. And yeah, she been has been on spot on this game. Invisible however... Scout however, things out. However, their draft has not been great. They're well aware of this Marana hiding oh, in the tree. Oh no, Derek Senpai getting hit with a shackle, getting just destroyed thanks to the power shot. Or excuse me, the focus world's fire fastest rush. chicken in a oh chronosphere. Oh my god, there it goes, Zerbs as well. That's going to be a triple for the HSE crew. Got Blade Mail finally coming online on Clockwork. That's about 15 minutes too late. Yeah, now that the BKBs are already coming up, it's it's pretty late. They're going to start yeah. wailing on their tier 3. Uh, did you see Monster just do his little casual taunt uh, toss right there? He's like, woo! Wow, look at that tier 3 melt. Oh my goodness. There's, there's, and there's they don't even have Glyph. There's nothing they can do about this. They don't have a good team initiation except for wards, and there they are. There goes the hook shot this step. The Hoff is going to get hit, but no, Mystic Flare comes out and turns that around. Ice Nine getting picked off by this Mystic Flare. He's going to force staff out. That was beautiful. And then he's going to blink TP away. Oh, that was gorgeous. <clears throat> so they managed to get all of their guys out of there. And there's Ags up on the faceless now. 
So that was gonna... so clutch on Hoff. That was such a beautiful play. I thought for sure they were going to trade him, and he's like, nope, not today. Oh, Hoff was so, so dead, but then he became so, so alive. He is 3-2-2. Two, two. <laughs> 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 yeah. We win then, now you throw. Dominating. Oh, we're going to get a pick up by Wind Ranger on Jakiro. God's hand turning into tides on Zerbs. I believe that would be the start of the throwing. I say that with love, of course. Also, Wind Ranger, also casual Agonim's Maelstrom there. Uh, oh, Professor uh, O getting caught out. He's going to delay his death, but uh, God Hands is going to seal his fate right there. Let's talk about that, Professor Oak. He's 0 and 12 right now. Not doing so hot. Uh, typically not you'll... the stick. No, not indeed. He was able to clearly stop the death. He should, uh, clearly he should stay out of the tall grass a little more. Just a yeah, little bit more. They have killed him, what, three times trying to ward the same spot? At some point, man, you need a chaperone. I, w I would love for a cosmetic for Shadow Shaman to be just a bunch of Ekans. Radiance Middle Tower is being. Uh, yeah, I feel like there might be some copyright issues there. Well, they might be. That's why you call them uh, snakes. I love that Wind Ranger Radiance is Middle like Tower the best is answer to Razor. She's Radiance like, I'm Middle you, Tower but I can actually attack. target, you know, whatever I want. Dyer's top tower is under siege. The new, better Razor, Wind Ranger. And then the focus fire again starts destroying that tower, melting ever so quick. It's got 620 HP, no glyph. That thing is going to go down. You know... There's nothing they could do. And then, even then, God Hands just walks past. Walks past <laughs> the arrow. It'll hit monster, but still, there's nothing they can do about it. Yeah, the gem on Ogre means that they... they basically have nothing they could do. Right now, your best bet would probably get to get a blink, you know, ward on Shadow Shaman for initiation purposes, but they don't even have that. No, um, he has maybe a good here. clockwork pickoff? Maybe, but he's so poor that none of the targets he would go after right now, he, he couldn't kill them. Like, he just doesn't have it. That Roche, though. That Roche, though. Yeah, and Radiant is trying to meet him on the high ground here as Smoked. Up, up, nice pass up. chicken. Look at God Hands go. Starts to drain on Ace right there. Then the focus of the Chronosphere. That Chronosphere gets Zerbs, gets Ace, gets Derek. All of them. Gigabit so screwed here. Oh, there goes Zerbs. 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 First down. That's going to be a four, man. Can it be the five? Can it be the five? There will be the five. That's going to be the GG right there. 35 to six. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Nearly seven times the kills right there. Oh, so gross. The humanity, they finally had mercy on their enemy as HSE pulls off game one of this best of two series. Uh, 33 minutes in, 35 to 6, beating the one minute per or one kill per minute uh, projection spread. Ladies and gentlemen, that was game one. We're going to have game two here in just a moment. Stick around. We'll be right back with more action here at UGC League Western Invitational. Just was to point out, Jakiro, Shadow Shaman, and Clockwork, all zero kills. Oh. 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 All zero kills. Oh, it's gross. Have mercy. Did there, there was no mercy. They killed her too. Yay! I'm back in my usual spot. <laughs>